Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Wee's GNT Gaming and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the player companion mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. This mod has been updated to the latest version so make sure that you follow these steps. Once you have completed that then this mod does require enable all interiors so make sure that you download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Lastly it does require lemon UI so I will leave this mod inside my description below. Unfortunately this mod only requires version 1.5.2 so when you go to the lemon UI website keep going down until you see version 1.5.2 download it here first thing first go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location before we do anything go to your skithookv.net.ini file double click so make sure that your reload key says insert. Then save your file and exit out of your file. Next, if you don't have a scripts folder, simply right click, create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it's all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and let's begin. The first thing that we need to install is Lemon UI. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder, go to your SHVDN3 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then go to your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. And now exit out of your extract folder. Second, open up your Enable All Interiors Extract Folder. Go inside this folder, then go inside this folder. Now simply select all the files and folder except for the text file and drag it inside your sketch folder and exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, Open up your player companion extract folder. Go to this folder. Go to your scripts folder. And now select all the files and folders except for the lemon UI text file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Wait for a few seconds, you'll get this notification. Replace. And now next, exit out of your extract folder. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game, so before we do anything, we will need to enable all interiors. So, go to your phone, go to contacts, then go right down to the bottom and you'll see enable all interiors. 
Now call it, then go to change and interior. Now you can do whatever you want with all this, okay? It's totally up to you. But the main important thing that you must do is go to the bottom to MISC options. Now really important, make sure that enable markers is true and load MP maps is true and enable blips is true. This next step is optional, but random color blips true. Remember, this is optional. Go back to your main menu, then go to refresh interiors and then press enter. Your menu will pop up again and now just exit out of your menu. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, my play companion is right next to me because I have already tested this mod before. Sorry guys, I just had to do a few things and make my player companion go away because she was annoying. But anyways, if this is your first time, then I'll show you how to get a player companion and etc. So I'll see you guys in the city. And now we are in the city, so to get a player companion, you will need to find someone, find anybody, or you can just spawn it from your mod menu. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to pick him because I'm not gay. Okay, so uh, sorry, mate, but I need a female. So let's go and find a female. Uh, here's one coming right at us. So to get a player companion, open up your phone. Go to contacts, go to player companion, and then uh, slow down, lady. Slow down, lady. I need you. Then now go to select new companion options. Now go to select new companion advance, and now quickly go and grab her before she goes away. Right, 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 right. And I press Y. Oh wait. Press Y. There you go. And then now, there you go. now, as you guys can see, I'm stuck inside the ground, okay? If you do get stuck, okay, then don't worry. I'll show you how to get out of that. Press T to talk. Press U for interaction. And now press 9 to hug. And now you're out of the ground. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, Franklin name. Now that's why I want a female because if I hit a male's, you know, butt, uh, yeah, that's a bit gay, you know. Now there is multiple things that you can do on the map. Okay, you can go and go to the movies. You can go and do at the heist over here. You can do the preco heist with your companion. Um, these multiple things, but the only thing about it. Is that you will need to be a certain level to to actually play that activity. Let me give you a demonstration, okay? I'll show you guys one activity, okay? Now we are at this location, okay? Now as you guys can see on my screen, it says the Union Depository Heist Combat Level is 45, so... It, yeah, I need to be level 45 to actually use the heist over here, so I cannot uh, play with the heist with my companion Because she needs to be level 45 So like I said before, okay That there is multiple activities to do with your companion The only problem is that you will need to be certain level and we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. It's an awesome mod, but like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods like GTA V or Cyberpunk, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments, so if you need fast help, and fast support then I will leave my discord server link inside my description below make sure that you do join my discord so I'll be more than welcome to help you out with your mods 
So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials, and I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace, and I'm out.